Good morning, welcome to Morning Outlook. This is Kim speaking on Tuesday the 20th of August. So looking at the Euro dollar first, actually before I do that, just to say news-wise again, we're, we're, we're rather short of any news. We've seen the uh, Australian Monetary Policy minute, Meeting Minutes already released at 2.30 this morning. Um, aside of that now, 1.30 we've got the uh, Canadian Manufacturing Sales data coming out, which may cause a blip there with a the, uh, dollar CAD. Um, beyond that, 11 p.m., so almost into the next day there, <laughs> FOMC um, me, um, member Qualls speaking. So uh, that's 11 p.m. So in, in our normal European trading period, um, not a lot there. So um, as I said, let's get on with the euro. And the euro at the moment, um, it managed to hold a lot better than most of the other pairs yesterday morning, but eventually rolled. Um, and it's at the moment still looking quite bearish in this four hourly lower highs, low lows running through here. I was looking eyeing up that weekly pivot yesterday once it started pushing up and it gave me a bit of an expansion move. It looked like it was going to push up there, but as I said, it just could not do it. Um, where we're sitting at the moment now, uh, well, it looks like we may be going back towards uh, Friday's lows there at some point, but. Uh, if I was looking to trade that, I'd, I'd be looking um, for a retrace, but it's just not really. It's 76 to uh, 65. It's not got a, it's not got a lot of pips in it, so uh, really, uh, and it could just find support off there. Now, am I looking for a reversal here with the euro? Not particularly. Um, there's not a great deal of signs that uh, even if it does that, would it give me a decent reversal? It just looks weak, and it, maybe we should be looking back towards the uh, weekly S1 on a um, on this. Um, back into uh, the previous week's lows there a test of that if it can break down so it does look soft even though some of the data as I said yesterday morning uh, it was quite uh, interesting the previous Friday that the, uh, the bank um, Germany had suggested that they may um, uh, change their debt uh, ruling so that they can um, create more um, stimulus in Germany at least um, but uh, we'll see see what comes from that that uh, to me might have been at some uh, at the, the beginnings of what we may see rocking around the European region because just they can't do too much as I've said for a long time now with interest rates it's just not going it's, to it's proven that it's not doing any good uh, to uh, get uh, growth going so they need to do more stimulus than that so um, anyway for now as I said looking looking weak there um, it may be just a case of selling into any strength now the pound um, pound yesterday just come back out to the dailies for a moment the pound yesterday well um, it had pushed up to just short of a double top in the morning there as I said yesterday I was looking for that weekly pivot and sure enough, it uh, it rolled over towards the weekly pivot. In fact, I can see it better here on the 60-minute uh, chart. It broke the trend there. Unfortunately for me, um, is it just went too too fast. It actually started breaking. Uh, well, me just before it started breaking down, um, just before eight o'clock on um, in real terms. At, eight o'clock came in it just went too quick and I was just waiting for a retrace it never happened it had already hit the daily pivot um, 50 MA within a very short while um, and then found a bit of support um, a little bit lower came back up fractionally and uh, off it went and caught the weekly so although the, the analysis was right technical analysis was right and the, the targets were hit um, Unfortunately, you don't always get into these trades, and uh, that was what the one that got away from me yesterday. Just moved too quickly. I was just waiting for a bit of a retrace because if you, if you look historically, you look around eight o'clock, and you get all sorts of um, just just around that time, you get surges one way or the other. You may have got a okay yesterday. We've been seeing a push up, and it was just the counter move to that um, sold off. But uh, other times it can be. Um, pushing down and all of a sudden you see a complete reversal which makes these uh, updates quite difficult at times but yesterday was easy in terms of uh, and analyzing what may happen there uh, but technically well it just didn't get into the trade today well we're already down towards um, a daily s1 I, I can only sell into retracements i need a decent retracement it's uh, just eight o'clock now i need it to pull back quite a while to look at this and it may be that we need to hold a trade for a day or two there i'm looking i'm eyeing up the um, 
weekly S1 there as a target. Now it's just sloping around here, but I just would like to see it break that 50 MA, that's the uh, 4 hourly 50 that's sitting below. Uh, it may give it some support at the moment. If it pulls up, gives me a reversal signal, I will look for the short side there. Um, uh, potentially now uh, it, it could be an add-in when it, it breaks back through the 50 so uh, but looking down towards the S1 uh, which was mostly last week's lows I know there was a bit lower in the beginning there but it does look like it's got some potential to roll okay dolly yen dolly yen looking from a daily perspective well it's been running up it's still sitting in this sort of bigger picture wedge uh, sort of price action very uh, iffy um, when you look at the weeklies you, I mean as I said yesterday it was in a wedge it just rose a little bit further sort of breaking the trend maybe just towards the top side of that which could signify a signal further upside I've drawn this um, on the 60 minute chart here just drawn a trend line across the highs there for me if it starts breaking beyond that uh, there may be um, opportunity to try and trade it back towards its uh, R1 area which was um, was that Thursday's uh, spike high and that the previous high level there so that, that may be a, an opportunity but it needs to break above that uh, trend for me to uh, consider that at the moment it's well uh, it's got potential just run down to S1 maybe down to its weekly pivot okay uh, it's dolly yen Aussie dollar well Aussie dollar saw the action through the Asian session um, it's still in this tight old range on dailies making it difficult in terms of uh, deciding which way it's going to go they suggested further cuts may interest rate cuts may be possible to create stimulus um, and whatever's needed basically I think is, is, is what's on the on the minutes there um, it's still in this sort of, as I say a bit of a wedge sort of pattern there as well and well um, could ro could roll back into range and it's near, near enough back into its mode sort of area uh, back into this sort of mid area which is around this weekly pivot so not a lot uh, happening there Aussie dollar Canadian dollar we've got news out later at 1.30 um, I was looking at this uh, movement um, just to see where it is the pivots holding over uh, uh, Fibonacci at the moment but uh, there's a chance it will push up a bit further if it does it's got resistance sitting there it's a 618 retracement from the highs down to the lows there um, the retracement back um, it does at the moment look quite choppy and more likely to push to the upside than anything else so um, that's the potential there it's there we go and uh, well yesterday just pushed pushed on um, going to the 60 minute there just carried on pushing through yesterday although lower highs lower lows through the initial sort of stage was what we were seeing there it came back for the daily pivot um, missed it at the moment but uh, at this rate it could uh, could be on for its R1 sort of area breaking through here as I said there's well there's previous resistance these around here that uh, may just stop things slow things up here but a break of that would see that R1 at 33.58 potential okay um, that's pretty much it for me um, as I say news not a lot there we're, we're left to tweets and comments coming out political comments re Brexit re Trump we re anything um, China <laughs> uh, we'll see what comes but uh, favorite for today is really seeing if we can get a bit of a retrace into the pound to sell into and uh, see if I can run it back down but uh, at the moment it's uh, it's again running off without me so uh, I'm just waiting for retracements be patient look down for uh, maybe running it uh, Let's get the weekly chart there, um, four hourly chart rather. Um, looking down to that sort of 2048 target at some point. Okay, have a great day. Bye for now.